Hi, this is Daniel, and these are my jetpack and ambience music systems in UE4 using WISE. There are several components to the jetpack system. When the player presses shift, this initiates the jetpack by setting the movement mode to flying and opening up the vertical axis for movement. The initial blast off sound is played along with triggering the fuel loop. When the player releases shift, the fuel loop is cut off, and if the blast off sound has recently played, it will fade out over a small period of time. The movement mode will also be set back to walking, and the player will fall back towards the ground. Additionally, when releasing the shift key, the release sound event will play. There is a red fuel bar to the left of the screen, which will also cut off the looping sound when the fuel is completely depleted. The player also has a boost ability. When pressing F, a force in the positive Z direction will launch the character into the air. This ability uses 25% of the maximum fuel amount, and also has a cooldown of 10 seconds indicated by the blue square to the left of the screen. If the player attempts to use this ability when there's less than 25% fuel, or the cooldown is not yet ready, a negative sound will be played, along with a wimpy attempt at starting the jetpack. One issue I faced implementing this boost ability was when it was used in quick succession with the regular blast off fuel event. When the player releases shift and sets the movement mode back to walking, the upward momentum is disabled. So if shift is released quickly after the boost ability is used, it will cancel out the force. To circumvent this problem, I set a decreasing value over time which is used to preserve the upward motion of the character after the movement mode is set back to walk. Another main part of the level I designed was an ambience and music system. When the player is around the castle, you can hear a certain orchestral ambience. However, when moved far enough away in any direction, it changes into a different track. I set RTPC values to the X, Y, and Z coordinates of the player location in-game, and when the player goes beyond the constraints set by the RTPCs in any direction, the music begins to fade out. There is a fourth RTPC used to dramatically sidechain the music that is outside the castle. When the castle music is playing at full level, the sidechain is in full effect, and as it fades out, the outside ambience music begins to slowly fade in. A very strong volume reduction, as well as setting attack and release times, ensure a smooth transition between the two zones. I also use the Z-axis RTPC value to control some vertical ambience beds. I have a low, middle, and high section which correspond to different heights in-game when the player is flying around on the jetpack. This idea can be useful if you have 3D emitters that you might want to cover a large horizontal section of the map, but not necessarily a large vertical section of the map, as they fade out when the RTPC values change. One last idea is I wanted to have multiple emitters in different directions throughout the map, but only be triggered by one event instead of having multiple copies of the event triggered. To simulate this effect, I changed the global sound instance to 1 and killed off any new instances that tried to play. So thank you for watching and I'll close with some uninterrupted footage.